My name's Fred Phillips and I have been collecting interesting automobiles since I was 14 years old. I bought a Countach, it was my first exotic, and uh, the fellow that, that uh, managed my, manages my business today, uh, he's my mentor, Grant, and uh, Grant uh, at the time had a Mira and was explaining to me that, you know, the Countach was kind of newly rich money and the gold chain club and I needed some culture in my life. And uh, uh, once I was in Amira, I, I, it was done. I mean, I sold my Countach immediately and began the hunt for Amira. People that have the kind of cars that I collect, uh, they're, uh, I mean, I, I, a lot of my recent purchases have been 50-year uh, owners of cars. And you just, you, you have to wait till these people die uh, or get divorced or have a big tax bill, a big economic turndown. Honestly, the list that I'm looking for is, is larger than the collection uh, because th there's just, there is, it's a never ending stream of cool cars. There, I have too many favorites. Uh, if it's here, it's my favorite. They're all, they all mean something to me. And you know, I, I mean, even the North American cars mean a lot to me, uh, or I wouldn't have bought them. They, they appealed to a lot of people. I mean, a designer lamented, just like any of the Italian cars did. The Ghia Savanuzzi Supersonic, I saw the car in 1990. Uh, Blackhawk Museum, Danville, California. Absolutely fell in love with the car. Uh, black granite floors, black walls, black ceiling spotlights I remember it like it was yesterday and I walked in the building and that car was floating and I just absolutely smitten and uh, made the decision I was going to end up with a supersonic one day and 16 years later October 7th 2006 Geneva sport car auction I purchased that car shortly after 1 p.m. Calgary time in the afternoon on, on the telephone I think at the end of the day uh, it isn't the cars it's the people I meet and the people I hit it off with and we end up getting along and we're able to converse and away it goes and uh, you're at the whim of the the wind you know you, you end up in the right group of guys chatting at a car show and all of a sudden you're exposed to a new person and he may or may not have a car or have a friend that has the car.